today I wanted to talk to you about a series of videos we have coming up that will explain to you what we call elect electron supplementation or electron redistribution and it's basically built off the work of Albert St. Gorky, Dr. Albert St. Gorky who 1937-1938 won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for discovering what in America we called the Krebs cycle. Uh, in Europe they call it the Krebs St. Gorky cycle but all it is is how does a cell produce energy and the whole thing behind healing, repair and disease prevention goes to the process of cells starting energy or creating energy and how is it done. Now having said that as we go through the series of videos it gets extremely complicated and difficult at times when you're trying to explain how atoms work and it's, it's a whole area called quantum physics or quantum mechanics and in physics you always look at the basis of what goes on naturally. Now the problem we have in health in humans is we have to bring in another side called biology. So what we observe on the outside in a physics relationship when we bring it into the human body, we have to be concerned with the biology. Now the bio biology and most of the stuff that you will read and see is written about chemical reactions. Now chemistry is highly important in understanding health and wellness. Problem we have with the chemical side is on the chemical side most of the experiments you see are done what are called in vitro outside the human body. The problem is when we take chemistry and we take physics and we have these occurrences inside the body we had a whole new world called biology. How does it work inside the body for these things that we've observed outside the body? Now the issue we end up with is we get confused and we make assumptions. Example when we apply electrical current to the body, we apply it outside the body. We put one electrode somewhere on the body, we put another electrode somewhere else on the body. Now what we're actually doing with electricity is we are flowing electrons from point A to point B. So we think we're smart. We understand electrons, how we can place them in certain spots in the body. Well, guess what? Biology just entered. And when we start moving electrons, then we also create what are called ions. And in the body, an ion is an atom that can give or accept an electron. So we get into some other processes. One of my pet peeves for years has been where one will say they have a quote unquote muscle stimulator and the magic of my muscle stimulation is that we can stimulate a muscle 500 times a second. Well, that's not true in the process of stimulating muscle nerves. Those are called motor nerves. And the way we do, like if I stimulated my biceps one time a second, I would get something like this. If I do it 10 times a second, I'm going. That's because the motor nerve can be stimulated that fast. But let me tell you what happens when you stimulate a, a motor nerve at about 38 times a second. You get a fused contraction. Show your muscle. Well, you can go over 38, you can go to 100, but you're not going to stimulate that motor nerve for any effect. The reason being, when we do that, we have a time period. And that is like if you push a ping pong ball underwater. Well, it's going to be underwater until it can pop back up. Well, if you keep pushing, 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 it's not going to come to the surface. That is called absolute or relative refractory period. A motor nerve has an absolute and or re, uh, reflect, refractory period that 
also governs its ability to polarize and repolarize. So when one would say, you know, you're doing five, we're stimulating, our machine is super great, and you see all these wonderful things because we're stimulating a motor nerve, a muscle nerve at 500 times a second. Yeah, you're stimulating it, but there's no logical explanation using current thinking as to why that makes a difference. Now, I'm not doubting it can make a difference. And when we get into the next video, I'm going to tell you how we got into this project. And it was the development of the Infrex FRM when we already had the Infrex Plus. But the thing that gets me is there are certain things that are going on today that have been going on for decades. And if you look at the different people that make these products, they all have basically the same explanation as to why. My machine is the world's greatest because of A, B, and C. Well, if you go to another machine, theirs is the greatest because of A, B, and C. And you run into some situations where I don't believe we're furthering the science of being able to help people using electricity and electromagnetic fields. But what we are doing is we're selling products and some of these products, they're working. There's no doubt about it. But the logic behind why they're working, the science behind why they're working, is basically been dormant since about 1962 when Albert St. Gorky proposed his first thing about submolecular medicine and how we were so close, but we needed to further the science. And now here we sit more than 60 years later, and this science is just beginning to emerge. But that's what this series of videos will be about. It's too much, it's too hard, it's too complicated. We're gonna to try to keep it simple to sit down and do a two hour video on it because you'd be bored and sleeping before we finish. But we're gonna to try to give it to you in little segments to let you follow the logic. And in doing so, we think that we can help you understand how to do things better we sincerely believe there are things that are very generic to what we will discuss with you that will further health and prevent some of the sicknesses we have. Thanks for watching this and now let's get started. But how did we ever get into this? And so if you can click right up here, then you can go to the next video that starts us off on what is the commonality of these instruments that are doing certain things. Thanks for watching this video. At MedFax, our priority is to educate and inform on topics such as pain relief, sports performance, injury rehab, nutrition, antioxidants, electron supplementation, and electrotherapy. We carry a complete line of electrotherapy devices and accessories including interferential, TENS, ultrasound, muscle stimulators, electrodes, and more. We are excited about being on the cutting edge of electrotherapy research. 